So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ahmaduhu wa usalli ala Rasul al-Kareem, amma ba'd. So today I want to mention a narration of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam that connects to many of the things that you have been hearing. And this hadith, in the in this hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam says, and this is in the book of Tirmazi, and Imam Tirmazi says, رواه ترمزي وقال هذا حديث حسن قريب. This hadith is sahih, is hasan, is hasan. It's a good hadith. Even though it is غريب, especially from the perspective you find, don't find these words in many other places. These wordings of this hadith. The Prophet Nabi Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said, آخر قرية the last of the cities, min qura al islami, from the cities of the Muslim world, kharaban, that will be ruined, al madinatu will be the city of Medina. And when you look at the shar of this hadith, the jawab al madinatu, al madinatu al munawwara. The city that is being referred to is the city of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and so uh, the Prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the last of the Muslim cities to have a downfall will be the city of Medina, and uh, this is the matan, this is the narration of the hadith. If you, those of you that are aware of hadith literature and how hadith literature works. Look at the number of people in the chain of this hadith and you'll be surprised it's not that many. So, for example, this hadith, it says, uh, let's see what I did here. حدثنا أبو السائب سلم بن جنادة حدثنا أبي جنادة بن سلم عن هشام بن عروة عن أبيه عن أبي هريرة قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Three people or four people. آخر قرية من قرى الإسلام خرابا المدينة قال أبو عيسى هذا حديث حسن غريب لا نعرفه إلا من حديث جنادة عن هشام بن عروة قال تعجب محمد بن إسماعيل من حديث أبي هريرة هذا. Okay, and so when they heard this hadith from Abu Hurairah رضي الله عنه, they were very surprised that the Prophet said the last of the cities of Islam to go into ruins will be the city of Medina. And now bring this together with the other hadith that we all know of, Imran al-Bayt al-Maqdas, the rise of the city of Jerusalem will be Kharab al-Yathrib. Over here the Prophet doesn't even take the name of Medina, but calls it by its pre-Jahiliya name, Yathrib. And then the hadith continues, which I'm not going to go on to today, but the fact that the cities will fall and the last of the Muslim cities to fall meaning Kufa will fall, Islamabad will fall, you know, all the, uh, the Riyadh will fall, uh, the Muslim Istanbul will fall, all the Muslim cities will fall, and the last of those to fall or go into ruins, which means what? The, into economic uh, ruin, okay, specifically. And of course, cultural and all that is there, but the last thing that keeps the city together is some assemblance of trade when there's nothing coming in, nothing going out, then the city has lost its purpose and it begins to fail and collapse. And so in this regard, we also look at the saying of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in which the Prophet said, uh, sorry, the eye of the Quran, that's very important, when which Surah Al-Isra, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says, in min qariyatin, there's no city, illa nahnu muhlikuha. That we completely destroy that will become muhlikuha, will be the place of destruction. Qabla yawm al qiyamah, before the day of judgment. Aw mu'adhibuha adaban shadida, we will severely punish it. Meaning, there will be pin, there will be some cities that will be severely punished. Amongst them will be the city of Jerusalem, because Jerusalem will rise. And the Prophet said, amongst the cities of Islam, the last one will be Medina. But, but Jerusalem will be up high. So when, and but the Quran says every city will be destroyed or punished. So when will Jerusalem be punished? 
Jerusalem will be punished either at the time of Isa or some time before. It will also be in shambles. And as you know, when in, in, when they kill Dijal, there will be no food to eat. They will go on top of the mountain. So Jerusalem itself will be in great difficulty. And every city will be in great difficulty. So again, I need to reiterate. What are the things the Muslims need to do? The first step is fatwa, Islamic chivalry. Learn how to swim. Learn how to hunt. Learn how to fish. Have good ikhlaq. Learn how to be selfless. Learn how to finish the Quran every month. Learn how to be disciplined. Learn to talk less, to eat less, to sleep less, to have fatwa, Islamic chivalry. Then number two, you must be in a jama'ah with an authentic amir. And with people in it, they're willing to sacrifice themselves for other. Every person is in it for the helping and the service of the, of the people of the jama'ah. And number three, you must, where you do your hijrah, you must do hijrah with the jama'ah. You must find a place to go, use your brains and find a place to go with the jama'ah so that you will be secure when this collapse begins to happen. So that you can survive that collapse, go on top of a mountain and learn to fish and so on and so forth. Where you do hijrah, you implement the Islamic lifestyle there. You make a Medina. You start trading in the Islamic way, the bartering system, or with gold and silver. And you bring people together and you train them and you hold on to the duty of holding on to the Islamic lifestyle. And then, more than that, you go further. And then if Allah gives you the ability, then you establish power and establish an Islamic system or system of an entire civilization until you hear and you do pro continue in this process until you hear of the Mahdi and then you go to help the Mahdi with the Jama'ah. You're not allowed in Islam to travel alone. You must go to the Mahdi with the Jama'ah. Don't go there as dead weight who are going to be just a burden on him. But rather go there prepared to be with him and do the work of Islam as much as you can before he comes. Every city is going to fall. This is a fact that no one can avoid. This is a fact no one can avoid. With what has happened with the pipelines and now the new announcement that has happened. I don't know what they're trying to do. They're trying to shoot themselves to death. So now Saudi Arabia and the OPEC countries have announced they're going to produce less oil. And uh, that is good in some ways for some countries. Very bad for the U.S., very bad for Europe, very good for Russia, and uh, seemingly good for the Arab powerless states. Um, and while all this circus is happening in the world, Israel is benefiting and rising high. Because no country benefits more from what happened to the pipelines more than uh, either Ukraine or from Israel, and if anyone knows the relationship between the two, uh, it becomes, uh, it, you can say it's an unsaid secret in a sense. So I want to leave you with this point that the world is headed towards a difficult time. Start looking for your jama, start looking for your amir, and start looking to discipline yourself. Start doing adhkar every day. Start finishing the Qur'an every month. Before I finish, I want to quickly go over about uh, five or six different tafsirs on this ayah. بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم من قريتين إم من قريتين إلا نحن محلكوها There will be no city except we will destroy it قبل يوم القيامة before the day of judgment أو معذبوها or we will severely punish it عذابا شديدا with a severe punishment وكان ذلك في الكتاب مصطورا and indeed, this is written in the Lahul Mahfuz. Imam Zamakshiri, in his Kashaf, he writes, Nahnu Mahlukuha bil Maut, we will kill people with death. Okay? And in other tafsirs, mentions death and killing, as you'll see. Wal isti'sal. And you'll be removed from the earth because of your sins. Aw mu'adhibuha bil qatl, aw inwa'ul adhab. 
or you will be punished by de by being killed or by killing and other types of punishment ihlak li saliha the uh, the destruction will be for the meaning that you will be removed you can say halak will be for the righteous people and adab will be the for the unrighteous people and then imam dahik he goes through which cities Mecca will be destroyed by Ethiopians. Wa halaka Medina bil ju'a. Medina will be destroyed uh, by starvation. Basra bil gharq. Basra will be destroyed with a type of drowning in something. Kufa bil turk. Kufa will be destroyed by Turkey. Like these are some narrations that one day I'll go into more details of. But I'm just giving you an idea. And this is where the world is now going, which is where. It's, the conflicts are all over, right? And people are aligning to new, uh, you know, people are aligning in new directions, okay? And the, the wars are becoming serious in the world, right? So, you know, war with Iraq wasn't that serious. People would say war with Afghanistan wasn't serious. But now, you know, things are cooking up with China and Russia. This is serious, okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in, the, in another tafsir, uh, tafsir ibn Jawziya, ibn Jawziya's tafsir, right? But, uh, وَقَرْيَةُ صَالِحَ بِحَلَاكِهَا بِالْمَوْتِ The righteous cities will be destroyed by death, okay? وَالْعَاسِيَةُ بِالْعَذَابِ And the disobedient cities will be destroyed by uh, punishment. So this is what the verse may, means. Uh, in the tafsir of Wahdi, which is one of the early tafsirs. Uh, ta in mujahid, mujahid, he says, the, the, Every city in the world will receive a portion of this. Okay? That you will be destroyed and punished with killing and murder and 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 testing. This is going to be as Allah has ordered it to be, and there's no changing them. Okay, and then he he says, look, you'll be destroyed by death. And your death will be written. Either a big bomb comes and everyone dies. Either ظَهَرَ zina, When zina becomes prevalent. وَرِبَا فِي أَهْلِ الْقَرِيَةِ In the people of the city. When riba and zina becomes prevalent. And therefore if it's in all the cities, they all be destroyed. أَذِنَ اللَّهُ فِي حَلَاكِهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will allow its destruction of the cities. And then... Uh, <coughs> uh, then there are other details that I don't need to go into, but this was the tafsir of, uh, I think Ibn Jawzi, I said. Nazmud uh, Dar, Al Baqa'i, Al Baqa'i, wow, that's uh, interesting. Kama fa'alna fi Bayt al Maqdas, and this same surah mentions the destruction of the city of Jerusalem. Just as the city of Jerusalem was destroyed, every city will be destroyed. Fi marratain, madhkuratain, awal surah al Fasad. Ahluha, when there's fasad in the people, then Allah destroys the city. So you should be fearful of that, just like that. Just like Allah destroyed Jerusalem, now Allah will allow Jerusalem to remain until while other cities are dying and Jerusalem will go up until Jerusalem also falls down. Okay, And so now uh, what's happening in the world uh, is taking us in this direction because we are being ruled by animals. Okay, And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and Shankiti rahmatullahi he quotes the ayah, وَمَا رَبُّكَ يُحْلِكَ الْقُرَىٰ بِظُلْمٍ وَأَهْلُهَا ظَالِمُونَ وَأَهْلُهَا مُصْلِحُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we would not destroy a city as long as its people are good doers. And he says, he quotes the ayahs, وَكَانَ وَرَاءُهُمْ مَلِكٌ The ayah in Surah Al-Kahf, يَأْخُذُ كُلُّ سَفِينَةِ غَصْبًا just like that people that were taking the boat and taking the people's boats away. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala injured the boat in order to save the boat. So in order to save the world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause a type of destruction in the world so that after that Islam can rise. Okay. 
So that's one of the uh, meanings. Uh, in the Tafsir of Awlasi, uh, let's see if I can go back to it, otherwise it's okay. In the Tafsir of Awlasi it says, ظاهر, ظاهر معموم, لأن, n- n- So he's talking about the Immin Qaryatin. This is for all the cities, right? This is استغراق jins, The destruction of all the cities. The, the cities will not remain. Meaning, uh, the the idea of the city cannot maintain itself. That will be the situation of the world because of famine and because of wars. إِلَّا نَحْنُ مُحْلِقُهَا قَبْلَ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ And then again, he mentions the different cities the Prophet has mentioned that get destroyed. بِأَمَاتِ أَهْلُهَا أَهْلُهَا وَبِالْقَتْلِ وَأَنْوَاءُ الْبَلَاءِ <clears throat> and then he mentions other narrations like that because of killing the Prophet, like he said, Harj, killing, killing, killing that will happen in the day before in the in the time of tribulations. So uh, uh and then he says Ruya and Mujahid wa ilahi the uh uh Junai wal Jama'ah, which is what? That there will be a lot of muqat, a lot of killing in the world, and there'll be a lot of facade in the world, and this will destroy the cities. And it will be is the Khraqul Jins that the idea of city cannot remain intact because nothing will be able to come in, nothing will be able to go out because the world, the global world, will be uh, in in a type of, uh, you can say, everything, it's like having a heart attack, nothing is moving. And so because of wars, shortage of food, shortage of gas, shortage of everything, cities can't function, cities will fall. And so this is what the Prophet Sallallahu has told us. And this is what we have to get ready for, inshallah ta'ala. Everyone say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. And if you haven't done your prayers, today do your prayers. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullah li wa lakum. Wa li sa'ir al-muslimina wal-muslimat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.